Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually so excited to film this video because some of you may have seen in my last video that I mentioned that I wanted to do more videos using old products. I feel like this is not only a goal for my channel and like making videos, but also a goal for myself in my personal life to just enjoy the makeup that I have. I feel like the makeup industry absolutely boomed over the past few years and I feel like everyone, I mean, I guess I'll just speak for myself here, but for me at least, I feel like I kind of grew with it where my collection grew, my interest in it grew. I mean, my interest is still there. But what I mean is like, I felt like I had to kind of keep up and now it's gotten to a place where I know I can't keep up. And so I feel like I'm kind of scaling back a little bit and I'm not as concerned about trying and owning everything out there as I am just enjoying the good stuff that I already have. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today. I'm doing a full face of my old favorites. Um, I seriously am like giddy over the products that are in front of me because it's been so long since I've been able to use some of these things, um, especially all together. So hopefully it gives you guys a chance to just enjoy what you have. And maybe if you guys have some of these things, it'll be nice to see them again in a video and it might inspire you guys to use them at home. So let's just get right into it. I already did my brows off camera. This is an old and new favorite. I mean, I've been using this for years now. I did my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade four. Um, I am actually going to prime my eyes using a more recent find as well, but it's still a favorite. Um, it's the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Oh, I want to use the shade light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the lids and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Alrighty. Okay, for eyeshadow today, I went through all of my makeup and I felt like I wanted to use this palette right here. It's the Anastasia Norvina palette. Now this is a palette that I used to use all the time and it's been a long time and I'm just feeling like using it again. I don't know, it just has like some neutral tones in here but also those pinks and purples which I personally love as you guys know. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Love. I'm gonna take this on a fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna start to work this in the crease. And then once there's a little bit less on the brush, I'm gonna bring that up as a transition shade. This shade is a little bit more intense than what I typically use as a transition shade, so I just like to kind of apply it in the crease first and then buff the extra up toward the brow. This video is already making me so happy because I don't have to worry about a review, I don't have to worry about a wear test, it's all just things that I already love and I know I love that I get to use again, which is so much fun. Okay, I really want to do something a little bit different with this palette. Uh, I think I wanna take this shade right here called Passion. I actually don't remember really dipping into this shade. So I wanna take a chance to try this out a little bit more today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to deepen up the outer portion of the lid. I'm actually using the same brush. And I'm gonna start by kind of applying that to the outer portion of the eyelid. And then once there's less product on the brush, I'm gonna take that into the crease to further define it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and just lightly dust over everything just to make sure all of the lines and edges are super blended. But I'm really liking the tones of these two eyeshadows together already. It's actually giving me like Valentine's Day vibes, which I know it's a little early for that. Is it though? I don't know, I feel like right after Christmas, I see Valentine's Day decor like the day after Christmas everywhere. So maybe everyone gets prepared for Valentine's Day <laughs> right now. Um, I think I wanna take rose gold, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna take that on my finger and I'm gonna start to press that in the center of the lid. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so it started off in the center of the lid and now I'm bringing it in a little bit more because I actually love that shade so much. I want a little bit more of that on the entire lid. I'm gonna go back into the brush we were just using with the darker matte shade. I'm just gonna kind of clean up the edges with that. Same thing on this eye. The shade is so pretty all over the lid, I love it. Ooh, I just had a thought. What if I take a little bit of Wild Child, which is this pink right here, and pop that in the inner corner? Let's do it, why not? Would that be weird to do a pink scoopity boopity? Maybe we should try it. You know what, I'm gonna do it because why not? So I'm just using that wild child shade to kind of highlight the inner crease here. I might layer up something brighter over that in a second, but I really like that initial base color of this shade in the inner crease. Oh, I like that. It's like more of a subtle scoopity boopity, but it's good. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of Dreamer, which is the lightest shimmer shade in the palette. I'm just gonna take it on that same exact brush and I'm gonna see if I can lightly layer this over top just to bring a bit more intensity to it. I'm trying not to use too much though because I like that pink undertone from the Wild Child shade, so I'm trying not to go too ham with it. Okay, I'm taking what's left and I'm highlighting the brow bone. Then I'm just gonna take my finger to press that in a little bit. I'm actually really happy with that already. 
Let's go ahead and clean up the under eye area. I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe. And I always like to take my finger and just kind of press down that line to kind of soften it and make sure that we have that shape, but there's not a harsh distinction between my skin and then the eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna move on to complexion. I saw this in my things and I knew I wanted to use it because it used to be like my favorite and I haven't used it in so long and I just really wanted to revisit it. So it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm just gonna do a couple drops on the face. Oh, and I'm just gonna use my fingers to massage it into the skin. And I'm just gonna give it a second to sink in a little bit. I remember before I had tried this product, I had seen it and I had heard about it a couple times, but it always intimidated me because putting an oil underneath foundation for some reason, I felt like it would make it separate and look really greasy throughout the day, but it actually just makes your skin look really fresh. So I'm excited to be using it again. Okay, so for foundation, I really wanted to use the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is one of my all time favorite foundations and it's just been too long since I've used it. So um, I usually mix the shades LW2 with LN3. I just find that that gives me my perfect undertone and tone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and take a little bit of the first shade and kind of dot it all over the skin and then I'm going to take a bit of LW2 put that all around the face as well okay I'm going to use my foundation brush this one is the it cosmetics heavenly Lux brush I'm just going to go ahead and distribute that all over the face and then once I feel like it's pretty evenly blended out I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge this one is from real techniques I'm just gonna put a bit of the foundation on that to kind of create a barrier. That way it doesn't pick up any coverage. It just kind of adds the finish of a sponge. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and press everything down into the skin. I love this foundation. It really is a foundation that makes your skin look so healthy and glowy and just, ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so for concealer, I remember loving, as I was going through my things, um, the KKW Beauty Conceal Bacon Brighten line. I used this religiously when I bought it initially. And again, it's been so long. So I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty Concealer and I'm gonna take the shade number two for underneath my eye area and also down the center of the face, a little bit around the nose to brighten up the redness. Then I like to take the shade four and I'll use this for blemishes. I'm almost out of these. I need to buy new ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and spot conceal with that. I'm gonna mix a little bit of number four under the eyes. And then I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend out the blemish concealer first. And now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the rest of the concealer all over the face. I'm curious to see if I still love this as much as like my current favorites, but I remember absolutely loving this. So we'll see if my feelings are still the same as they used to be. Okay, so far everything is looking really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, Bake Powder. This is the under eye powder also from KKW Beauty. And I'm gonna take that to set the under eyes. I'm gonna make sure there's no creases before I do that. And I'm taking my small brush and I'm just using like a pressing motion underneath the eyes. Wow, that really does like lift and brighten the eyes. Like I don't see any discoloration under there anymore. So we're gonna do the same thing on this eye. Okay, that's it for the under eyes. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with my classic translucent powder from Laura Mercier. You just can't go wrong with this one. And I'm gonna take that on a larger brush and I'm gonna press it into the rest of the skin to set the foundation and concealer. Okay, I'm just making sure that everything is powdered. And next I'm gonna go into the Brighten powder. Uh, I remember this one because it's so hard to open. It just looks like this. It's also from KKW Beauty and I'm just gonna take that same little brush and I'm just gonna tap the smallest amount underneath the eyes to further brighten up that area. This powder definitely works. A little bit goes a very long way if I remember right. Yeah, oh my gosh, wow. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of that down the center of the face kind of brighten everything there. All right, I'm gonna dip into one of my very favorite finishing powders. This is from Laura Mercier. Um, it's the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Well, almost dropped it. But you can tell how well loved this is. I love this product so much. It's just one of those timeless items in my collection. I'm gonna go ahead and take that on the same brush we were using for powder, and I'm just gonna kind of press that into the skin and then buff it. And it's just gonna add back in some luminosity, which I love. I don't know if it's really picking up on camera, but hopefully it is. It just adds back such a beautiful glow. All right, we're gonna move around a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the eye area and we're gonna finish up that lower lash line. So um, I'm gonna take a little bit of Love, which was that pink shade we initially started with on the top lid. And I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this along the lower lash line. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Rose Gold, which was the shade we used all over the lid. And I'm gonna take that on a small brush and I'm gonna spray it with my all-nighter spray. 
And I'm going to apply this all over the lower lash line as well, but this time it's a little bit closer to the lashes than the first shade we just applied. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Wild Child, which is the pink one right here. And I'm gonna kind of further intensify that inner corner with this color, kind of dragging it into this inner third right here. And then I'm gonna take a bit of a smaller brush and dip into Passion, which was that matte kind of berry shade. It's the darkest matte shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna use that to kind of deepen up the outer third of the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna pop on mascara. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is an oldie but a goodie. I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, probably three coats on the top lashes and then one to two coats on the lower. But I'm gonna really build this one up until it looks like I'm wearing false lashes, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up complexion. I knew I wanted to use this bronzer in today's video. It's the Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chair Bronzer in the shade Rhea. I'm just gonna take that on a bronzer brush and just start to build that up all along the sides of the face, into the hairline, under the cheeks. It's been a while since I've used this and I have missed it. This used to be like my daily bronzer. I have so many bronzer favorites now, but this one really is one of my absolute holy grails. It is so good. Ugh. And now I'm remembering why I love it so much. It's so pretty. Okay, so once I feel like the bronzer is pretty evenly distributed, I'm just gonna take my powder brush and buff over everything to make sure it's really blended in. That way it just looks much more natural, making sure there's no harsh lines and stuff like that. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is probably one of the very first highlighters that I fell head over heels for. And then I used like religiously, literally every day ever since that. Um, since then I've discovered a lot of other highlighters, but I still love this one so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the high points of the face. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I love this so much. I'm gonna take it down the center of the face, on the cupid's bow, and a little bit right above the brows. I'm feeling like looking really dewy today. All right, next I'm gonna take my Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink. This is well loved by me as well, and oh, I just felt like it'd be beautiful with this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that on a brush. I'm gonna smile and kind of press that actually on the apples of the cheeks and then buff it in over top of the highlighter so it all looks like one seamless cheek color that moves from like the highlighter blush and into the bronzer. It's not like stripes. We don't want Neapolitan ice cream, you know? We want one uniform cheek. Yes, this color is perfect for this eye look. I'm actually gonna take it, kind of blend a little bit right here along the edge so it kind of blends down into the blush. I love doing that sometimes when I'm doing a little bit more of like a monochromatic thing. I just think it helps tie everything together so nicely. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove any foundation that got on the lips. Okay, the lip liner I'm gonna use today is from Rimmel. It's in the shade 049 Natural. It's one of my very favorite lip liners ever. I'm gonna go ahead and line and fill in the lips with this. And I kind of wanted to keep it simple and just use the lip liner as lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Glossier Lip Gloss to top it off. I love this stuff so much. And I thought this combo would make a nice glossy nude lip. Oh yeah, those layer really nicely. I like that a lot. All right, let's just do some finishing touches. We're almost done. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Dreamer shade in the Norvina palette, the shimmery kind of champagne color, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this right in the very inner corner of the eye just to brighten that up a bit more. And then I'm gonna take the bronzer brush and just add a bit more to the forehead. I feel like I really like where everything else is at, so we're gonna go ahead and set the face, and I'm gonna use my um, Smashbox Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. Look how much of this I've used. I need to get another one. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the face with this first, and then we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm just gonna set the face. It's not really uh, dispensing very well because it's almost gone. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh-oh, where's my fan? Oh no, I have no idea where it is. Ooh. All right, well, we'll just use our hands today. Then once it is almost dry, I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and just press everything down into the skin. And actually, I'm kind of wanting to keep things dewy today, and I don't necessarily need it to last for hours and hours, so I'm just gonna stop there. I was gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter and then do my Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder in the center of the face. That's what I always do when I want like a really good long-lasting base, but I'm super happy where this is right now. So let's go ahead and set the brows. I'm gonna take my classic favorite um, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is still such a good product, and it's been with me for years. Like I haven't forgotten about this one. It has stayed front and center on my makeup desk. It's just my go-to. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that through the brows. 
All right, you guys, there you have it. That completes this makeup look using my old favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it. It truly was like an escape for me. Filming videos always is, but for some reason, dipping back into old favorites and just enjoying what I have really does make me so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love how the makeup look turned out. I feel so fresh. All these products are incredible, and I'm really happy that I have them on my face again because I feel like I'm gonna start to incorporate a lot of these back into to my routine again. They deserve to be in my routine. They're all so good. Let me know in the comments below what old favorite of yours you've been incorporating back into your routine. I would love to know. And I also want to know if any of them are the same as what I use today. So be sure to comment that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I feel like I'm gonna be making a lot more of these videos this year because this just solidified my happiness toward these types of videos. So if you guys wanna see them, I will make them. So let me know. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.